Hi, welcome back. This is a Miracle Jade here, and I am doing another makeup tutorial. So this one is going to be involving a product that I have been wanting to use for a while now. Yes, and it is Fenty Stunna Lip Paint. I am hype. I love Rihanna, and I have not worn this out yet at all. So this is going to be something based completely off of this lip. It's supposed to be very bold. It's supposed to go with every what shade out there so like every skin tone out there this is supposed to match it's supposed to be the universal of reds and I do not wear red lipstick so I am excited to see how this is gonna look on me so I hope it turns out well and I hope you guys like it so see you at the end so I'm using Vino Perfect Serum as a primer from Kodali I'm just gonna rub that all over my face and neck Also a little bit of rose water just to close up those pores. I also have some new foundation from Clinique. I think it's called Everglow. I don't know. I'll put it in the description. I'm really bad at that. But I'm just going to blend that all over my face and my neck. Next, I'm going to do my concealer. It's still my Sephora concealer. I'm going to do it all over my chin, my, under my eyes, top lip, forehead. I'm going to use the tip of my blendy brush and just blend that in. After I did this, I actually um, did my eyebrows, but uh, it took me so long to do it that I edited it out. So, um, yeah. I did my eyebrows with my NYX pencil. And then I also put some concealer around it. And then I'm just going to take my baking powder. Just put that wherever I put concealer. I'm also putting concealer on my eyelids so I can do my eyeshadow while I bake. So the first color is from ColourPop. And that's my transition color. It's like this brownish color. Or the lighter, a light brown. Kind of reddish. I'm just going to put that all over my lid. And then I'm going to get my crease and I'm using this dark brown color. And it's from that Ulta um, palette that I got for Christmas. Uh, it doesn't really have a name, but yeah, I'm just going to put that all in my crease. And then I'm going to use this gold color from the Sephora palette. And I got the Sephora palette for my birthday, which is like really close to Christmas. But yeah, I'm just going to put that on my lid and my inner corner. Then I'm going to put that first color on the underside of my eye. Kind of smooth that out just a little bit. I'm going to take my uh, router and I'm going to dust off the baking powder that I used. Like I said before, um, I like router because it mats my face out and it doesn't make the concealer as bright. It's more my skin tone, which I like. And I'm going to contour with my Ruby Kisses palette that I use one shade. I don't like to go overboard with contour, so I'm doing my, uh, bring out my cheekbones. Then I'm going to do my forehead and under my lip. I'm just going to blend, blend, blend. I'm going to keep going. I use my jawline. I just confuse when I'm putting a little bit on my nose. I'm not going overboard tonight. I'm just going to get some, getting some of that concealer off of my um, <laughs> eyebrows. I think I put too much on. And then my cloud paint blush, of course. I'm just going to dot that on my face and then take a brush and blend that in just to add some more color. I'm just going to take my 
highlight. It is from ColourPop. I'm just gonna highlight my face. I'm gonna get my cheekbones, my cupid bow, my chin, my nose, bridge of my nose, and right above my brows. And then I'm gonna do my waterline with a dark brown. It's an eyeliner, but it's kind of brownish, dark brown. And then I'm gonna do my mascara. I don't do lashes, guys. I'm really bad. I, I, I've, had, I've worn it in like a couple times, but I'm just, I don't know. I don't own any lashes, so I just do mascara. If I want my eyes to really pop, I just cake on mascara, <laughs> basically. Now, moment of truth. This color is very, very, very bright. I didn't expect it to be as bright, but I think it's beautiful. I'm not used to like bright colors. So I wanted to mute it out a little bit. I put a little concealer on it just to ombre it out at the bottom. A little bit at the top. And here's the final look. I move my hair down. I always have my glasses on, guys. I'm a glasses wearer, so I just constantly wear glasses. I will take my glasses off, of course, to let you guys see the little eye look that's going on there. It's not a very, very over-the-top look. Like, I will do a full face of makeup, but I think it looks awesome. The Stunner Lip Paint goes on so smoothly. It dries quickly, and it's very bright. And I think it goes well with my skin tone, which is surprising because I do not wear reds at all. Please like and subscribe. Thanks.